Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with ThePipeNook.com. Back in the West Parlor today to do a mail call at the Pipe Nook. So today's video is going to be a question and an answer from an email I received uh, and replied to. Uh, this we're going to call 6mm versus 9mm filters. And there's a bit more to it than that, but uh, we'll start with the question. Uh, so it says, I'm somewhat avoiding the 6mm charcoal filtered pipes. I find that the bigger bowls like the 114 KS will tend to saturate the 6mm charcoal filter with moisture two-thirds of the way through the pipe. It seems like the bowl is just too big for that size filter. Have you run into that? Um, and I do want to mention here that he said uh, he's avoiding the Savinelli 6 millimeter, millimeter charcoal filtered pipes. But they're really just 6 millimeter pipes. Um, you can use a charcoal filter or you can use a balsa filter. But we'll get to that in a bit. Um, so my answer was I do find that larger bowls tend to overcome six millimeter filters towards the end. It's still better than not using a filter, but by the time I'm done with a full bowl in a 320, that filter is usually shot. But as with most things, it really depends on the type of tobacco you're smoking. Aromatics are the worst, typically, to chug up filters. Uh, and how moist or dry the blend is when you load it. Because we know the drier the tobacco, the less the filter has to absorb. Some folks don't smoke the last third of a bowl, so it's not an issue for them. Uh, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on how I'm feeling at the two-thirds mark. Sometimes I feel like it's time to set the pipe down, and sometimes I keep going. Also depends on how good it's still tasting at two thirds of the bowl. Um, but to avoid the issue entirely, you could stick to non-KS bowls, you know, the non-king sized bowls, and go with the more standard bowls like the 626. Um, you know, things that aren't designated as KS are more medium sized bowls or standard sized bowls. Also, you could use balsa filters instead of charcoal filters. Uh, now, the balsa filters do have their fans. I prefer the charcoal filters because I feel like they help with tongue bite and absorbing moisture better. Uh, but some people, all they, all they really need is just a little help, and the balsa filters do that for them. So you could try the balsa filters. Um, now, I do, you know, the whole question comes back to, is a 6 millimeter filter good enough? And I would say in most instances, yes. Uh, now, where I find um, I want to stay away from a 6 millimeter filtered pipe are the blends that give me the most trouble with tongue bite. Um, so, for me, aromatic blends... Um, I would tend to smoke in a 9mm filtered pipe or like straight Virginia or very high Virginia blends I would tend to smoke in a 9mm filtered pipe but for 6mm filtered pipes I typically don't have an issue if I stick with Burley based blends or a good mix you know English blends or a good mixture of several types of components or if it's just a light aromatic, a 6 millimeter filtered pipe does me just fine. Um, but anyway, uh, in it, you know, all things considered, I do still favor 9 millimeter filtered pipes over 6 millimeter filtered pipes. But that doesn't stop me from smoking a 6 millimeter filtered pipe. Uh, but, just so you know, most Savinelli and Rossi pipes that I, that I carry are 6mm filtered. Um, but I do carry a good bit of 9mm filtered pipes. So some examples of that are the Savinelli Sienna series 
and some romalusite uh, shapes. And you can find in the um, product pages of every specific pipe on my site, it will say in, under the specifications if it's non-filtered or if it's six millimeter or nine millimeter filtered. Uh, and if there are options, as is the case with some of the Roma Lucite pipes, uh, you'll see uh, if I have six millimeter or nine millimeter in stock, you'll see the two options. If I have both in stock, if I only have one in stock, you'll see either one of the uh, or the other. Um, in addition to those Savinelli pipes, I also have nine millimeter filtered pipes in the Peterson Army Filter, Dublin Filter, and the new exclusive Phoenix pipes. Uh, those are all 9mm filtered here at the pipe nook. Uh, and most, if not all, of the Rattrays pipes that I carry are 9mm filtered. Now that may change in the future. I may start to carry certain Rattrays pipes that are unfiltered, uh, but I, I tend to still focus even in the future, I will tend to still focus on 9mm filtered pipes uh, in the Rattrays brand. So, again, you can always read in the specifications on uh, an individual pipes product page, and it will tell you exactly what it is, uh, whether it's unfiltered 6mm or 9mm filtered. So, that's the long-winded answer to 6mm versus 9mm filters. And uh, I hope that's helpful in some way to, to some of y'all out there. If you have any questions, let me know. Be sure to check out thepipenook.com. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, we will talk with you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.